And now a follow-up to a Target 12 investigation. Surprise suspensions. It's an issue impacting more than 11,000 Rhode Islanders. We revealed last night that 60% of the drivers required to fill out a three-page DMV form did not do it, resulting in many of their licenses being unknowingly suspended. The state is now getting rid of that requirement and stopped suspending licenses for the violation last November. But our story prompted many to ask about the fees tied to the issue. Target 12 investigator Walt Buto is live in the newsroom now with a new information he's uncovered. Just checking the status of your license, if you think it's suspended, will cost you $17.50 in person. And if you, your license is suspended, reinstating it for not filling out a form you may not have known about will cost you about $150. Among the 11,500 drivers who did not fill out the DMV accident report, there's know. Tom Hogan. He came to Cranston today to take care of his suspended license. You didn't know about this second form? No, I didn't. I thought it was kind of idiotic because they give you the form right there from the accident report. It's kind of redundant. The DMV came to the same conclusion after Anthony Silva took over as administrator last summer. The reporting system has evolved into a, such a great system on the police side that we really don't need the dual reporting system anymore. After watching our story, several of you wondered why the state charges to simply check the status of your license. No, I don't think that's a good idea, charging people to check your license. Doesn't cost anything to look it up on the computer. Pay enough money for taxes already. The information that While is Silva stopped the suspensions for not filing the form and understands many drivers didn't even know about well, it, no he says the fees to check and if necessary reinstate your license are fair and they're not going away. Should they have to pay if they didn't know? Well, I think they do. Um, and I don't think it's cruel to have to make someone pay that fee. That was the law that was in place. That was the policy that was in place. And that policy will go away, according to Silva, by July. Meanwhile, in Massachusetts, a similar form, a similar policy still does exist with the registry of motor vehicles, but we're told it's not common for licenses to be suspended for not filing that form. Live with the Target 12 investigators in the newsroom, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.